Hi Leo, welcome back to my channel, Yansa's Universe. It's me, Yansa. This is going to be a timeless reading for you. I'm doing readings for you all week because you won the poll. And looks like um you guys won, you know, did the most votes. You guys, um, I get the most views for Leo readings anyway. So yeah, I'm gonna focus on you, Leo. So this is gonna be timeless. This is what the spirit wants you to know, okay? This is what the spirit wants you to know. Whenever you are um, led to watch this is when, you know, when it's right for you. This is for Leo, Holy Spirit. Protect me as I go within the tarot. Keep me safe. No weapon that's going against me shall prosper. Return to sender any and all negativity. And no weapon that's going against me shall prosper. Protect me. Protect my home. Protect the messages. Protect my viewers. I shame. Take me to the white light, please. Ancestors, please orchestrate this reading. This is for Leo. This is for Leo. A Zetzelite. What number is this? 26. 26 breaks down to an 8. Um, 26 could be important. You could be 26, turning 26. All right. 26, a Zetzelite. This represents cosmic evolution. Leo, you're going through an evolution. A Zetzelites are imbued with immense spiritual energy and information for guidance and insight. They are here to help Earth ascend to a higher expression of cons consciousness. Your self-understanding, Leo, you are a being of light here to help Earth evolve. Although you need to rise above mundane concerns, keep your feet on the ground and deal with the everyday. Too much emphasis on sweetness and light leads to ignoring your shadow energies, which become inauthentic and lethal. Niceness, if not acknowledged and integrated, stay real, leave your ego behind. This is going to help you, Leo, your divination. Leo, you are here to represent spiritual light on earth and help it evolve. Make yourself heard. A project of successful, I'm sorry, a project is successful no matter what. So, Leo, avoid becoming impractical and having too high an opinion of yourself to determine, you know, to the detriment of others. I'm sorry. Avoid becoming impractical and having too high an opinion of yourself to the detriment of others. Retain your humility, Leo. This is going to help heal you, Leo. So, your healing insight, Leo, recognize that every soul is precious. This ensures that you remain in cosmic harmony. Frequency, exceptionally high. Chakra, all. Highest crown. Timing, every moment. Soul path, assisting the earth to evolve. So, Leo, you're supposed to be helping the earth evolve. Remain your humility. Don't um have, what did it say? Don't have too high an opinion on yourself to the detriment of others. You know, kicking others to the curb, not really caring about others' feelings, how other, you know, other people in their situations and things like that. So, retain your humility. Real, realize that every soul is precious, okay? No matter if they're rich or poor or this or that. Every soul is precious. And remember... Being too lighthearted, too fun, and things like that, you ignore your shadow side. Don't ignore your shadow side because that's that could be dangerous to ignore your shadow side and just let it do whatever, okay? Be real with yourself. Sometimes you may not be having a good day. There are things on your shadow side that you do have to work through, okay? So, is that so light? I'm going to write everything that I said down in the description box so you guys can remember it. But this is very um, powerful, Leo. So let's see. Let's get an affirmation for you. Spirit, what messages do you have for Leo? This is for Leo, please. This is for Leo. This is for Leo. Thank you. You have playfulness, okay? I am a playful participant in life. 
and I always have the opinion to make something a fun game rather than a heavy burden. Mary Poppins put sugar in the medicine for a reason. That lady really knows how to party. <laughs> Playfulness, okay? So here's two sides to the coin. Um, realize your shadow side, but don't be too hard and be playful. Okay, Leo? I feel like sometimes when people tell you about yourself, you get all, you like, get like super like, oh, something's wrong with me. Oh, this, and it's like nothing's wrong, Leo. Chill, okay? Chill, Leo. Just letting you know, hey, sometimes you got to work on your shadow side. It's not just you. Everyone has to. Spirit, what messages do you have for Leo? <laughs> So it's all about what you what you choose, Leo. So have that balance because it's really up to you. And you're working through, okay, if it's up to me and I have the control and I have the reins on what I put my energy, time, attention to, where do I go from here? How do I make this balance? This is for Leo. Spirit, what do you want Leo to know? Hold on. Oh, damn. Take time out. This same message came out in... Your reading that should be uh, uploaded today. What's today? Tuesday. This reading, I'll put it, I'll post it Wednesday. But Leo, take time out. Brown Bear Spirit. This same card came out in your other reading, so check that out as well. What else do you want Leo to know, Spirit? What messages do you have for Leo? Crow Spirit. Co create with Spirit. Co create with Spirit. Remember, um, this message said you're supposed to help the earth, elevate the earth. Okay. You are a being of light here to help the earth evolve. Although you need to rise above mundane concerns, rise above mundane concerns. Okay. And keep your feet on the ground and deal with the everyday. Too much emphasis on sweetness and light leads to ignoring your shadow energies, which can become which can become inauthentic and lethal. Niceness, if not acknowledged, is integrated. Okay, so Leo, this is layers on layers on layers. This is why y'all readings be taking so long, cause y'all be layered than a motherfucker. Take time out, Leo. Work with spirit. Co-create with spirit have some fun playfulness and um elevate the earth okay romance angels can you give me a message for leo that's gonna help them give me a message for leo that's gonna help them please leo and their highest self the highest version of themselves leo Pay attention to the red flags, Leo. The signs are cautioning you. The signs when it comes to the feelings you get in your gut. The signs you get when you have a thought just come into your mind. The signs you get, um, the energy, someone's energy rubbed off on you. Okay? Pay attention to the signs, whatever they may be. Your dreams. All right. The message for your highest good is healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So your love life is going to benefit as you forgive your parents. We have deception. You have not forgiven them. Pay attention to the red flag. So pay attention to your shadow side. You're being too nice. You're sweeping things under the rug. You haven't worked through these things. Okay, you're being playful, but you're not really playing. You're saying that you're playing and joking, but you're not. You're not. Not really. So pay attention to the red flags. Why are you acting this way? Heal, got to heal these family issues, Leo. Take some time out, Leo. Take some time out and really think about this because we do have deception. You're deceiving yourself or someone is deceiving you. And you're going to figure all of this out once you forgive your parents. All right, this is for Leo. This is for Leo. Spirit, what messages do you have for Leo? Help the earth evolve. Now, that's a big task, Leo. That is a big task. While still being playful, taking some time out, and co-creating with spirit, and healing family issues, it all starts with you. Once you get yourself right, the energy of the earth elevates as well. So this is all about you. All right, 
right, we have the Three of Swords. You got to heal. You haven't. There have been some endings with the Death card. Could be done with the Scorpio. And then the Hierophant. This is on your spiritual path. Okay, this spirit is um, trying to, like, wake you up to what is really going on, Leo. This is not just happening to you. Things don't just happen to you. It's, things are supposed to happen for you. But you got to figure out what is happening for. Ask spirit. You do have a new beginning here with the Ace of Wands. And then we have the Eight of Pentacles right here. You're putting in a lot of work, time, and attention. Okay, you're like, what is this for? Why did this happen? All, all of that, okay? So you can elevate the earth. <laughs> Your energy itself, Leo, you're the sun. You're the sun. You are life energy. You are the source. Okay? Thank you, God, for the earth. But what would the earth be without the sun? Okay? So you really have to... Spirit is just telling you, you got to evolve. You got to elevate. You do. Into the highest version of yourself. Because, Leo, your energy is so big and strong and magnificent and powerful. You really being on your path and being enlightened and living your most true, authentic, highest version of yourself, life, that will elevate the earth. That's what it is. Okay? Clarify the three of swords for Leo. It, it's not, it hasn't been easy. I'm a Leo. The shit ain't been easy. At all. The star. Healing. This is you being vulnerable. You being naked. You completely being like just true, authentic, raw, and uncut. Raw and uncut, Leo. Clarify the three of swords and the star. People are watching you page of swords people are watching you you're an inspiration people see you how you do it wondering how you do it how did leo this this and this okay people watch you leo you you this life that you're living you're not alone people have been watching in the background on the side and in the, in the window in the bush people see you i'm telling you leo i'm telling you and you're not alone clarify the death card for leo strength they see how endings come into your life or big changes come into your life and you're still strong you're still magnificent you're still leo you're still here you're still the lion clarify death and the strength please clarify death and strength for leo spirit what do you want leo to know clarify death and strength for leo the three of wands time time practice makes perfect a lot of time a lot of waiting a lot of um working on your craft doing things in the wee hours of the night like i'm telling you burning the midnight oil leo like you really have been putting in work clarify the hierophant please what do you want leo to know spirit what do you want leo to know please clarify the hierophant for leo The Four of Wands. Spirit said, I, I got something for you. Something good. Something you're not expecting. A reason to celebrate. I got some stability for you. The Four of Wands. Spirit is elevating you. Spirit wants you to do it. What? what, what? Many are called, but few are chosen. And it's like, y'all remember that scripture in the Bible? And they, what did they say? God gives his toughest battles to his strongest warriors or something like that leo you're the lion so i'm just saying i'm just saying leo you're the lion what did you expect yes you why me because you're leo that's why okay we have the hermit card you could be dealing with the virgo just uh, i see the devil card the ten of swords two of wands it's just a lot it has not been easy this shadow side is starting to creep out as well leo I'm not saying you're not a leader. I'm not saying you're not a champion. I'm not saying you're not happy-go-lucky. But damn it, Leo, sometimes you get sad. Sometimes you get upset. Sometimes you get frustrated. Your shadow side is, like, screaming at you, Leo. I, I'm still here. What about me? 
Okay? Clarify the Hierophant and the Four of Wands for Leo. Spirit, what do you want Leo to know? The Five of Wands. Exactly. Yeah, it's getting real good, Leo. But I'm but this five of wands is still here. Your shadow side is still here. Your I'm hearing your insecurities, your doubts, your fears, your anger, your frustration, your disappointment is still here. Clarify the five of wands for Leo. Spirit, what do you want Leo to know? Please clarify the five of wands for Leo. The Four of Swords, you're going to have to deal with it eventually. You can't run away from it forever. You can't run away from it forever, Leo. And I'm not saying this to scare you or anything like that, the Ten of Swords. I'm just telling you, hey, it's real. It's life. But it's nothing you can't handle, Leo. The Nine of Wands, it ain't shit you can't handle. All right, clarify the Ace of Wands for Leo. Spirit, what do you want Leo to know? Clarify the Ace of Wands for Leo, please. The Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so the work that you're putting in, it's like um, benefit reward, like work reward. The work you put in, you'll be rewarded. Yeah, Page of Pentacles, the Emperor. Eight of Wands. So people are going to be placed in your life, Leo, that see what you're doing. And you're going to be getting benefits, rewards, accolades, residuals. Clarify the Ace of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles for Leo. Spirit, what do you want Leo to know, please? The Six of Swords. Knight of Wands, Page of Pentacles. It's like the way you move, Leo. You see how they're watching? You see this shadow, this person in the cloak? Watching this person? It's like the way you move, Leo. I like the way you move. Clarify the Six of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, and the Ace of Wands for Leo. That's your shadow side, Leo. Remember, I was saying your shadow side is still there. The five of swords. Yeah, the six of swords, five of swords. This is your shadow side. It's still there. So whenever you get victory and, you know, you're working on something and you're feeling really well, don't let this, don't ignore this, this shadow, your ego, because it can be lethal. It can be very lethal. I'm getting, I'm getting as well, Leo, sometimes you get so stuck in your head, like to the point to where you completely just stop operating. Sometimes, Leo, you get so stuck in your head to the point to where you don't want to deal with people. And if people catch you on the wrong day, for some reason, your mind can get a little warped sometimes. And I'm just speaking from experience. And you'll think you're doing like the like a situation. What if you're how do I explain this spirit? Sometimes your mind can you'll be so stuck in your head, your mind will um create a situation and it's just not really what that is. I don't know how to explain it. I'm trying to your mind will create a situation, a scenario based off of this ego your shadow side and it'll lead to conflict and defeat but that's not even really what's going on leo spirit is always telling you leo really see what's going on for what it is what's going on for what it is leo clarify the six of swords and the five of swords i don't really know how to explain that i hope you guys are understanding what i'm saying clarify the six of swords and the five of swords for leo the Eight of Swords. Yeah, you're in your head. Sword, sword, sword. See what's really going on. The High Priestess, when I cut the deck. 
what is really going on in the spiritual leo not just the physical the carnal eight of pentacles that's a carnal type physical you can touch type thing no what's going on in the spiritual what's going on mentally like what is your intuition telling you because you could think people are out to get you or you could think people are doing this or doing that or you or in your feelings can get really really hurt but that may not be what's really going on leo you're in your head and you're creating a scenario and your ego is very combative trying to protect you but leo you may think too highly of yourself to other people's detriment. That's what this card said. Remember? Whew, starting to make sense. Let's go back and read it, y'all. All right. What did it say? Avoid becoming impractical and having too high an opinion of yourself to the detriment of others. Retain your humility. Avoid becoming impractical impractical the eight of swords five of swords avoid becoming impractical and thinking too high of yourself to other people's detriment you lashing out on people all right leo i'm just leo these cards are saying it i'm just reading them okay all right but leo i don't see that this is a this isn't a bad place to be in you're learning so much and this right here it's going to be another trophy for you. It's going to be another gold medal for you. Because Leo, you're, you're elevating the earth. You're bringing high vibrational energy, Leo. Once you become at peace in the highest version of yourself, this is the temperance card. You're elevating the earth, the magician. Nothing can stop you. Spirit is trying to create, spirit is trying to turn you into like... Uh, just a manifestation machine 